What a weird evening. I was going to talk about how uh, we had like a really good show tonight at Teatro Martini. That was a great audience and uh, uh, we had some new people in the cast and they, they did really well. Um, I was going to talk about uh, acting things and stuff like that and then the news came through that Scott Weiland died of uh, the front man from Stone Tell Pilots and Velvet Revolver and a variety of other bands. And, you know, it, he's probably not going to have a whole lot of weight for kids that grew up or were born in the 90s or uh, later in the 2000s. Um, but he was a really big part of my adolescence with Stone Temple Pilots and um, and just because of all of the tragedy that's been happening over the last few days and and just a lot of people dying in, in one way or another it got me thinking about how you know yesterday and in a lot of these in, in almost all of these videos all I've talked about is the joy and excitement and, and how much pursuing my art and doing my thing is life-affirming and it's all I want to do and it's my drive and it's been, it's been my job since I was an eight-year-old kid. So it's very positive for me and it's very, uh, it doesn't lead to, to any of the same kind of uh, self-destruction that it seems to with others. And when I think about Scott Weiland and, and his troubles with addiction, and when I think about, I mean, it leads me back to like Heath Ledger. And, you know, and who couldn't you name? Like, every generation has a, a variety of talent that have gotten themselves into one thing or another for a variety of different reasons. And some of those, you know, there are debates about how much you have control over. But I guess, no, it's not guessing. What I want to say, and what I want to put out for anybody who's paying attention to any of this, don't give yourself a reason to hurt yourself, if that makes sense. Don't look for the self-destruction. I think I get it. I mean, there was a time when I really liked to smoke cigarettes a lot. Um, I really liked smoking just as an act. And I used to drink a lot um, because I felt like I could. I was, you know, in my early 20s, and that's what you do, right? But there comes a point when you start to, you stop doing these things because you want to, and you start doing these things because you feel like you have to. And for most people, you know, we, we call it growing up and, and you stop doing it, or you make adjustments to your behavior, or you do whatever. And for some people, it just keeps being what you do. And that's rough. And, and I don't think anybody sh should be judged for that. Not, not fundamentally. Because self-destruction, that's, that's, a, that's a personal thing. That's a tough thing. And it's hard to say what anybody is going through at any particular time. That's not to say that I'm always, you know, this non-judgmental saint. But if we're being the bigger person, if we're being better people, then, then we got to look at it for what it is, which is a mask and a way to be able to deal with things that otherwise that person doesn't feel like they can deal with. And that is is something that we hear a lot about in music 
and in acting and in things like that. It's not the majority by any means. Part of the reason why it's news is because it's it's rare. And you hear about it more from famous people because they're famous. It's it's just how things work. You hear about their dogs more. You know, like it, it, whatever detail of their life. If you're famous, you just hear about it more. And of course, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. So tragic things like this make the news. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And if you feel like you need to do something to self-medicate, then reach out for help. And if you feel like you're going to do something that's going to hurt people, reach out for help. Because you don't really want to hurt anybody else. And you certainly shouldn't be hurting yourself.